Okay, let's get started. Starting out with two large sweet potatoes. I've already peeled them. I also already cut them in half. You'll want to cut the slices approximately a half inch thick. Be sure to keep them all similar to size so they all get done at the same time. Now you could also cut these in cubes if you prefer cubes. Okay, now I place them all in the bowl. I'll add my half cup unsalted butter, which you could also use salted if you don't have the unsalted. All my dry ingredients, which is three quarter cup brown sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of ginger. You want to stir all that to get it all combined. And then after you get it well combined, you'll want to put it in your baking dish. You want your oven at preheated at 375 degrees. Right here, I'm making sure I get all that goodness out of there. Always be sure to put most of my butter on top. That way it can melt over my potatoes. After I get everything situated here, I'll put my foil on. And I'll put it in the bottom rack for 30 minutes. Okay, the 30 minutes has passed. I'll get out. I'll do another stir and I'll add honey, which is optional. It's fine without honey. I just like a lot of sweet. Make sure you get them well covered with all that juice in there. You don't want these to dry out. Again, honey's optional. Or if you didn't have honey, you could also, you can add more brown sugar, more than what it's called for. Okay, now you want to put it in the oven uncovered for 20 minutes. Okay, after the 20 minutes is done, give it another stir. Now add your marshmallows, which again, these are optional, but I prefer marshmallows on top of mine. Put them back in the oven once again. You can set the broiler for 30 seconds or you could put them in back in there just in baking for uh, like five minutes or so just till they get start getting brown. Okay, so that was the last step. Now you're ready to eat.